So joining me in the studio today for an X session is One Night Only, and with me is the lead singer, George Craig. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. You have got your first single off your second album out today, Yeah. so you don't want it. So tell me, this has been quite a long time in the making, this album, hasn't it? Yeah. What sort of process have you gone through? Uh, we've gone through, well, firstly, a long process. Yeah. Um, it's been... Because it's more electronic, isn't it? This yeah. Um, it's been a lot more thought, th thought through. Um, we spent a year sort of finding the sound that we wanted, um, finding the songs that we wanted to yeah. write. I thought, I thought all along that Forget My Name would be the first single. Which is my favourite. Yeah. Until, um, what was it, Say You Don't Want It yeah. came, came along uh, just towards, it was sort of one of, the, one of the last that we completed in the making of the album because we kind of wrote the songs then and yeah. there. Uh, in Belgium where we recorded it, we were just doing it all as one. Celeb Excess was obviously with you on set in New York when you recorded Who, sorry? the video. Celeb Excess. Yeah, yeah. With you on set in New yeah. York when you recorded the video and obviously Emma Watson stars in the yeah. video. It's a really cool clip, isn't it? Yeah, I, w I watched it back for the first time uh, the other day. For the first time? The video, well, not the first time. Yeah. Uh, for the first time in first a while. First time, yeah. And yeah, I'm really, really proud of that. It's, yeah. it's such a great video. I'm really pleased with it. We were kind of just driving around New York in vans and jumping in and out and doing one shot and then, you know, going off again. And that was kind of really fun yeah. for us and for Emma because obviously she spends hours and hours yeah. doing, you know, Harry Potter and whereas it's just a one day thing for her. So it was really cool. Now a lot of people might recognise you not actually from your music, yeah. but from you sort of have a sideline as a Burberry model, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Tell me how that all came about, and do you consider yourself a model, or is it something that's just like a bit of an extra for you? Um, the whole Burberry thing came about from Christopher Bailey, the designer, who's a good friend of mine now, um, was a fan of the band, and uh, we met up and tried on some stuff, felt great, yeah. and so I started off doing a men's fragrance campaign. Um, I tried... Tried doing some catwalking. Uh, did a few of those. That was kind of a bit weird for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I found that that's probably the most. Even though you're so used to being on stage yeah, performing, yeah. that's the most nervous I've been. I think is catwalking. And is that how you met Emma <laughs> through um, doing the Burberry campaign, or were you mates beforehand? The, the, the first time I met Emma was uh, a. It was at London Fashion Week, and she was on the front row, and I was walking. And then after we met, and then did the campaign, and just yeah. No, 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 no. You've said you're just good. good yeah, friends. We're, we're not. We're not. You know, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, if so, I'd, I'd dating? say dating. I'd say Can if you say dating. I'd say if circumstances were different, and you know, we weren't off doing our own things, we might have yeah. something. But she's a gorgeous girl. Yeah, she's she's lovely. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just good friends to be honest. Yeah, yeah it's good. P possibly down the path in the future. Something might potentially, develop. potentially. Well, look, I absolutely love the song, and I love what I've heard so far of the album. So, everyone should go and download "Say You Don't Want It," which is out today. And just quickly, tell me, you're going to do "Say You Don't Want It," and then you're going to do an, quite an interesting cover as well. Just very briefly, tell me what the, the cover is. The cover is called "Teenager in Love" by a band, a '50s barbershop band called Dion and the Belmonts. Which may not be something you've heard of, but actually I just heard you practicing then, and yeah. it's quite a familiar yeah, tune. Yeah, it's, it's a fam familiar tune to a lot of people, but you just don't know who it is most of the time. That's, Brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank much you for very coming much. in, George. Cheers.